Welcome back. Uh, you're watching Street Science. As you've been hearing, the, 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 the last few earnings, especially in the mid-cap space, have been quite okay, actually. Prime Focus reported steady quarter with revenue growth at 68%. Vikas Rati, Group CEO of Prime Secured, uh, Prime Focus, now joins us. Uh, Mr. Rati, hi. Good morning. Uh, you know, if you could tell us, uh, in terms of your numbers first, uh, the, the sales and EBITDA have gone up quite a bit, but there's a net loss still. Uh, is that entirely due to exceptional and adjusted for that, what kind of profit would you have posted? Yeah, good morning. Thank you very much uh, for speaking with uh, me today. Yes, the revenue as well as EBITDA, the operating performance of the core business continues to be uh, robust. And I think this quarter we delivered some pretty, uh, pretty strong growth, both on the revenue side as well as on the operating, uh, you know, operating margin perspective. Uh, yes, almost all, if not all, of the uh, of the losses is, uh, is on the back of uh, exceptional items we had announced previously. The sale of our non-core uh, uh, post-production business in the UK that's actually contributing close to 40 crores of of loss. So without that, you would have looked at a, a, a PAT of about 18 crores positive uh, and a PBT of about 50 crores positive, which is about you know north of 12 percent margins. Okay. Do you think, uh, Mr. Rati, that these margins at 25% will be sustainable in the coming quarters? See, I think what I had mentioned uh, to your channel as well uh, about a quarter or so back as we go through the integration of uh, the different strategic transactions we've done in the past 12 months, uh, I think we expect to be you know, north of 20-22% of EBITDA margin you know, in a, on a sustained perspective. This was a good quarter. I think we, we, we basically hit on all the, all the cylinders across our creative business. A uh, bunch of really high quality movies coming out. We also won the Oscar for, for the Interstellar uh, as well as the technology business kind of coming and kicking through in, on all cylinders. So yes, it was a good quarter. Uh, am I going to guide you 25% margins for next quarter? I hope to deliver that. But uh, at the end of the day, we are definitely uh, you know, in the realm where we are delivering 20 plus percent EBITDA margins you know, going forward. Okay. Uh, you know, if, uh, because in terms of uh, your uh, outlook going forward, what kind of uh, uh, compounded annual growth rate do you think uh, investors can expect in, in revenues maybe over the next three or four years? Uh, uh, that's uh, on top of mind for a lot of people. No, so that's a very good question. I think the the market obviously is is evolving, and I think in the media space especially, I think things are moving away from just linear television or or theatrical perspective. Uh, there's a massive amount of growth on uh, on the online as well as the mobile video channels. So, so I think all our customers are today uh, grappling with uh, the challenge and the opportunity of of getting more and more eyeballs. Uh, online and how to basically capture that, and I think we definitely play a, a big part in that, both from a uh, from uh, in the creative services where we provide visual effects, as well as 3D conversion services, as well as on the technology platform, which allows you know uh, allows uh, providers such as Star TV, Warner Brothers, and others to kind of deliver high quality content or over the web uh, to uh, you know the younger generation which fundamentally doesn't want to be tied down to a television set anymore so i think we we expect to see pretty strong growth going forward uh, exactly the kegers and stuff like that i think we're definitely expecting you know uh, you know uh, you know something in the north of uh, 10 odd percent uh, into the 20 percent range is i think what we expect to deliver over the next uh, over the next 3 to 4 years hopefully it's it's higher i think the the whole landscape is changing fairly fairly dramatically you obviously seeing the growth that the you know the the dot com and the e-commerce is kind of seeing on the uh, on the B2C side, we obviously are a B2B to C player, not really a B2C. Uh, and I think our aim is to you know uh, help galvanize our customers to be able to offer you know um, robust and you know high quality uh, entertainment services over the web. I think that's that's what's going to drive a lot of the growth going forward. So, which are the marquee projects that you've worked on recently, and what might uh, the pipeline look like, uh, maybe in the first half of FI16, or maybe in the entire FI16 that we can see? Oh, we've worked on some very, uh, uh, very, uh, you know, kind of uh, interesting projects. Uh, you just saw Avengers 2 that came out. Uh, you know, we delivered both the visual effects as well as the 3D services in that. That movie has gone on to gross more than a billion dollars already. Uh, prior to that, there was Interstellar. There's a bunch of movies which are coming out. There's Terminator Genesis, which should be coming out in the next few weeks. We've done, a work, done work on that. We're working on Mission Impossible 5. Uh, we're working on uh, on a bunch of other such you know name brand kind of uh, franchises uh, in this current year. What I can tell you is 2015 already is is expected to be one of the highest grossing box office for the Hollywood industry. Very large tentpole movies coming out over the next 12 months. So I think we're very fortunate to be part of that. 
Um, similarly, um, on the technology services perspective, uh, we, we provided the platform for the delivery of Hotstar, which is uh, Star TV's uh, you know, more online, uh, online portal on the entertainment side. We're very proud of delivering the work on that. Uh, also, we have galvanized um, BARC, which, as you know, is the, the new rating agency for the television audience measurement program. Uh, we're delivering the, uh, you know, uh, playout monitoring service on that, you know, 24 hours a day uh, across 400 channels. So we're very proud of that achievement in the technology services. So a lot of good stuff happening, and I think you'll see, continue to see uh, name brand projects coming out where you'll see the involvement of Prime Focus across our chain, both technology and creative services. Indeed. All right, Vikas. Thanks a lot uh, for your time today, and uh, good luck for the next financial year. The stock uh, doing remarkably well, up about 6%. Uh, but we have uh, one more earnings to focus on, Ekta. Yes, Ram Krishna Forgings reported numbers. Um, uh, in fact, it's...